Welcome everyone to Web Design and Development course. This video is an introduction to HTML5 and CSS. Here you'll see the source and reference for this video. I hope you'll be able to follow along this web design course. Coming up next are the prerequisites in this lesson. We have the MAP server, Apache server, Sublime Text Editor, localhost 8888, and htdocs folder. These applications and folders should be active in your machine at the background. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs. And these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. The intent of this video is to show you how to apply paragraph and break tags in HTML, and we are in section 2.3. If you've ever used a word processor like Microsoft Word, then you know that to start a new paragraph, all you need to do is to hit the Enter key on your keyboard. The cursor will then move down ready for you to start typing. In HTML, however, you don't do this. If you want to start a new paragraph, you have to use the P tags. An example is shown here. We don't need the closing tag though, but in the modern web coding, it's best to use the closing tag for paragraphs so that you can add styling rules. We'll learn how to do this in a little later. Let's try the paragraph tag. Locate my first page.html file, then open it in Sublime Text. So that should be in HCDocs folder, HTML, and inside section 1 folder. In Sublime Text, add a paragraph below the heading. Take note here that you can actually copy and paste any stories or poems from the internet. What we are after of in here for now is the HTML tag and not the information. So I have copied a short story from Edgar Allan Poe and added it in our first web page. Again, the information here is just, for example, purposes. If you wish to copy the information here, you may also do so. This is how our sublime text looks like now. There are two paragraphs added to our HTML page. And remember to use the P tags whenever you want to start a new paragraph. Now let's save our work and view it in a browser. So type localhost 8888, then press Enter key, and you will be directed to the index of HTML. As you can see it from here, we have the two paragraphs in place in the browser now. Let's change the title and name the oval portrait, then save it. So to save, Command S for Mac and Control S for Windows. Then refresh the browser and take a look at the browser. After refreshing the browser, the H3 heading is replaced with the oval portrait. Notice the paragraphs breaks in the text. And notice too that although our code was indented, this doesn't show up in the browser. The browser will ignore all those indents we had and any extra white space. If you want white space, you have to tell the browser. And you do this with the break tags like P and BR, which you'll see soon. For a quick exercise, let's try to remove all the paragraph or p tag codes and see what happens. 
here I have removed all the p tags, save sublime text, then go to the browser and refresh. Here's the result in the browser. After we remove the p tags, without the p tags, the text just runs on. We don't want the paragraph to look like this. So what we'll have to do is put back those p tags in place, and there's still, however, a paragraph break after the heading, even though we deleted all the p tags. This is because the h heading tags insert their own paragraph breaks. Here we have placed the p tags back in place. Now let's discuss about the br tag. The br tag is used when you don't want a full paragraph break. The space between lines of text is then reduced. The br tag doesn't need a closing tag and can be just by itself. Let's try some br examples. In sublime text at the bottom of the paragraph, we'll add br tag and a text after the br tag. Notice that we've deleted the end p tag for the second paragraph. If you leave it in, you'll get a double line break from the two p tags, as well as a single line break from the br tag. Now save your changes and switch to your browser. So refresh the browser and the page result should look like this, the one encircled in red. So if you don't want a full double line break, then remember to use the BR or break tag. And be careful of the end P tags or you'll end up more line breaks than you expected. This ends the lesson about paragraph and break tags. In the next lesson, we'll take a look at bold and italic text. For today's classwork, we'll continue to answer module one in Google Classroom. And whether you're in school or taking online class, this classwork will be available since it's just accessible through Google Classroom. For our web quest, we'll search more about HTML tags. Thank you for watching this video.